Hi everyone, my name is Kiran. Welcome to Cloud Parashala YouTube channel. And uh, after a long time, again, I'm trying to create the videos because of I switched to another company due to you know some of the things and uh, not able to manage the and create a videos. I will try to create it more and more videos. Uh, today, especially, I'm going to discuss about FinOps on Azure. So, oh, like you recently, you know, a lot of people uh, seeing it is a FinOps. FinOps, FinOps is a very, you know, frequently that is a buzzword, and uh, hopefully, might be most of the people aware. And if it is not aware, and this is a financial operations on cloud platform, especially FinOps is a organization and uh, cloud cost optimization it's not only specific to azure it's a all world wise it's a cloud uh, cost optimization how to you know uh, things and uh, standardize uh, you know industry standards for follow um, things like that and uh, finops is a organization is a kind of you know providing some standards should follow like this way and uh, how to you know companies adopt this finops and uh, how to optimize the cost how to manage the cost uh, what exactly and how everything it's so you know is the finops organization providing and it's all uh, microsoft aws google cloud oracle cloud like uh, every all clouds is a uh, you know involved on this and uh, providing and supporting and this finops uh, culture FinOps is a culture and uh, especially for managing and controlling the cost on the cloud guys. Okay, coming to few of the people might be already you are working on cost related on a cloud platform. And if you are uh, might be your customer asking to reduce the cost and how, what are the ways and how to do it. And, uh, you know, a lot of things are there. Okay, FinOps is a best practice and recommendations and everything it's a providing uh, but it's a that is a you know finops even recently i completed the finops focus finops uh, introduction uh, these two courses and after that you know uh, finops uh, partitioner and after that uh, finops uh, professional finops uh, uh, you know technical engineer something you know a lot of uh, different certifications is available um, so my you know uh, just i started uh, on that and completed finops focus finops introduction so oh, some of the things is a mm, bit and piece and missing the things like what is the exactly means overall generic way and uh, you know overall cloud wise they will you know discuss and provide it and uh, what is the culture and how to adapt the companies and uh, these are those things might be in the partitioner level i will get the more idea or might be it's so more detailed on specific cloud wise also might be i'm not sure but as, a, as of now what i understanding especially when i'm searching and uh, for especially azure microsoft azure wise i found a few of the things very very useful and cool thing and i want you know share with my uh, you know uh, you all subscribers and uh, very useful to you uh, that's why i'm creating this video guys uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click um, bell icon whenever new video you will get the notification if you like my videos please like and comment below thank you coming to uh, what are the new things what i found the things i will show you so generally uh, like technically most of the people will work on that Okay, it's a cloud migration wise or operation wise and everything. But coming to operation uh, and uh, migration, apart from that is a cloud cost optimization. What are the ways we can do it? What Microsoft is, uh, you know, providing such cool features or things and how to we can utilize it. Might be we are not expertise on that area, how to utilize it. Those things, it's a uh, Microsoft is also, it's a uh, providing documentation in track to uh, uh, lab guides and everything guys i won't share that links as well as i will show you so you will get the more idea let's jump into that part so first of all i can show you the documentation finops on azure uh, this is a uh, sorry this is a documentation if you see len.microsoft.com and cloud computing finops this is a finops documentation and it's a, if you click on overview and directly you will jump into the um, 
FinOps documentation Microsoft is uh, providing this documentation, and it's a uh, majorly this FinOps uh, you know uh, adopted by Microsoft also and following that standards and accordingly. So this is the documentation. What is the FinOps? What is the thing? And everything. It's a uh, Microsoft tools. What they are providing in the cloud as for FinOps wise. How is the we can use it? That way, this documentation definitely it's helpful. And after that, in this, so there is a FinOps toolkit is also is available. And if you click on this toolkit, and we can try to deploy the toolkit into our Azure platform, and uh, we can you know tracking and generate the reports and everything. And uh, if you have multiple subscriptions and those all those things and you know cost center wise and everything. It's a Microsoft is a, you know, uh, this is a FinOps toolkit, guys, not specific to uh, this one. It's a, especially uh, Microsoft GitHub uh, repository is available, this tool. And if you click on FinOps hubs and deploy it from this place, you can deploy it. It will try to deploy. Uh, there are different, uh, you know, resources like data factory, event hub, uh, like storage accounts and managed identity. Azure Key Vault, these are all you know different resources. It will try to deploy it and it will capture the all the your cost center integrated and accordingly, you know, you can utilize it. And it's a kind of uh, things you can generate the reports like this, guys. Uh, based on your customer requirement, uh, you can generate the reports. You can see what included storage account data lake generation to hold all cost data. Data factory instance to manage the data ingestion and cleanup. Key vault to store the data factory system manage the identity credentials and uh, power bi integrated and generate the reports and if you want deploy it from this place you can deploy it uh, this one and this finops toolkit and you can you know integrate it and after that you can uh, generate the lot of different types of uh, reports and uh, you can uh, analyze it and cost optimization you can do it guys okay we can do it this is a finops toolkit and other than that, it's a, you know, tech community is available uh, in the FinOps discussion. And if you click on this one, and if you have related cost related reservation, saving plan, or any other things, it's a, you are facing the problem and everything you can post it. And uh, who are already, you know, working on that, uh, what they are facing the problem related, they posted here, what type of, you know, solution answers you can find here, different thing. Uh, buying reservation for app service plan he is facing something or might be issue or doubt something you can post it and uh, you can get the you know some you know uh, links or uh, tips and everything guys uh, expertise people uh, they will provide the solution on this okay this is a one more uh, good thing and it's uh, you can find the you know finops related all the what is the finops and the cost optimization workbook and everything you can see here, a lot of things are there. Okay, so this is the documentation, guys. And second thing, one more is the assessment. I will tell you, uh, this is a assessment, guys. Uh, this is a like in uh, this assessment, uh, kind of uh, you can when trying to assessment the, for your environment, you need to log in. Obviously, it will integrate it and it will ask the some of the questions and you need to uh, give the answer for that accordingly it will review the total your environment uh, azure cloud accordingly it will give the you know um, you are in the which phase like moderation or it's kind of things it will give where, which stage you are in like that not only for finops it's a uh, azure wellframe architect adoption and uh, a engine a lot of things are there especially right now we are discussing about finops so let me try to FinOps and you can see here FinOps is available. Click on FinOps review and you can see here uh, it will give the, this is a way, see the results uh, examples. This is a way you will get the example of results and what does information result page provided and everything. It's your plan, ready, govern, manage, organize and where is uh, your stays and everything guys it's uh, you know very cool and it will provide it and if you try to first of all start assessment if you click on this is a one and uh, after that it will you know give the things here like that you can start from this place and definitely it will ask the 
your uh, some of the questions about uh, this one and if you want to import the things uh, go back to here and import to allow advisory recommendation to uh, to be included in this assessment not currently available for sovereign or government cloud subscription it not supported for cloud subs uh, government uh, cloud subscription or other thing there's a only public cloud it's a supported and you can import it so important means you are integrating your subscription related uh, this one um, advisory report it will take it accordingly you know it will kind of uh, give the um, assessment report in your existing uh, on that subscription related all the things it will give the assessment and it will provide it if you don't want what exactly you want to check it assessment name wise you uh, you know it will ask a few questions like you can see cloud adoption journey indicate what stage organization is in today so right now suppose is a planning to migration to the cloud currently migration to the cloud in the cloud you are already in the cloud yes suppose example if i am in the cloud already some required questions are incompleted due to that it's a uh, you know a lot of questions it will come here select the domain would like to assess uh, which domain you want i want everything cloud rate optimization cloud uses optimization real time decision making performance tracking and benchmarking understand the cloud usage and cost organization alignment everything you can select it depends on accordingly you know multiple questions you will get it guys multiple questions so these are all those things you need to answer and after that it will give the assessment okay uh, so where you are in right now based on this assessment it will give it um, you are in the critical stage or you are in the okay good and or moderate or something like that it will give the assessment so based on this uh, you know uh, recommendation and everything if you follow you can optimize the cost and other than that okay well and good and i want to practice it i'm very new to this finops related or cost related i'm very technically you know um, azure cloud but i cost related i'm not sure uh, cloud um, cost management or advisory or something else is a uh, how to you know technically how to perform it in azure portal that way microsoft is a given interactive guides finops on azure and you can see here there are nine exercises is available cost allocation how to do it data analysis and show back manage shared cost resource utilization and efficiency manage anomalies forecasting budget management manage commitment based discount carbon emission optimization if you want uh, example like you want to see it manage commitment based discount click on open and interactive guide guys if you play the things and it's uh, you know very interactive i can show you uh, like just a few clicks so you can see guys follow the prompts on the screen so first of all like example taken the virtual mission and uh, virtual mission and the scroll and it's uh, suppose uh, windows server i'm taking and a scroll and uh, learn more what is exactly hybrid benefit okay so i'm i know the things i select that and i can get the cost optimization one of the thing like it's a kind of things it's a providing guys okay uh like i'm stopping pass the thing okay this is a very 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 good and uh, very cool and you know you can try to exercise you can follow these nine exercises and you can get the some you know idea how to do it in your organization this related especially um you know last month to compare this month is a more cost forecasting also it's showing how very high and how to check it and manage a shared cost how to do it budget management how to do it and resource utilization and efficiency how to do it and cost allocation how to do it like these all those things you can you know a uh, practical way uh, you can do it and you can get idea and after that you can go back and uh, in your environment you can try to you know if you are uh, right privileges and everything you can able to do it i hope it's uh, very helpful to you guys and if you like uh, this video please like and comment below thank you guys we'll meet with the next video